Hey everyone, today I'm excited to share with you how I quickly capture my ideas and notes on the go using a combination of Apple shortcuts and Notion. Although the Notion iPhone application already has a few shortcuts available, I find this to be a bit limited when it comes to customization. And I believe the method that I'm about to show you today provides a more versatile approach to quickly inputting information into Notion. Stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to walk you through every step of setting this up so you can start capturing your ideas more efficiently. Let's dive right in. Let me start by showing you what the workflow actually does. Basically, when I double tap the back of my iPhone, I will get a pop-up with a text box asking me to input the note or idea that I want to save. After I input my note, I will then be asked what priority I consider this note to be, and once I select an option, the information will be automatically sent to Notion. So, now I'll open up my Notion app, and here I see that I have an inbox database created. Within this database, I see that a new page has been created with the text I inputted in the shortcuts text box, and that the page is marked with a medium priority, just like I've selected. I use this inbox database as a temporary holding station to store any idea or note that I have not fully categorized yet, giving me a quick way to capture my thoughts without having to worry about where to store it at that precise moment. With that said, let's now see how to set this up. To begin setting this workflow up, we need to enable our Notion workspace and the database we want to work with for integrations. By the end of this section, we need to have two things copied into a notepad for us to use later on. First, we'll need an integration secret. This you can think of as a unique code provided to us by Notion to securely connect third-party apps and tools. In our case, these third-party apps or tools will be the iPhone Shortcuts app. In addition, we'll need our database ID. To obtain your integration secret, go ahead and go into this website using your computer. Don't worry, I'll leave the link also in the description. Once you're in this website, this is the place where we'll be creating our integration, or basically, this is a place where we'll be enabling Notion to connect or be integrated with other services. As you can see here, I already have an integration created, but what you wanna do is click on new integration. Here you wanna give your integration name. Then you wanna select the workspace that you wanna integrate to. In my case, I only have one workspace to work with. The type we can leave as internal. And if you're gonna be creating different integrations, you can upload a logo here, but for right now, we don't need to. So we'll go ahead and click on save. Once that is saved, we can go ahead and click on configure integration settings and you'll be taken into the integration home screen. Here, the only thing that we need to worry about is this internal integration secret, which is our secret code that we're looking for. So I'm gonna click here on show and then I'm gonna click here on copy. Once this is copied, I'm gonna open up a notepad and I'll simply paste the integration uh, secret here in the notepad. So now that we have our integration secret, we need now the database ID for us to be done with the Notion um, configuration side of things. So for that, we wanna go into Notion and for this example and the code that, we'll be, that we will be using in our shortcut only includes two properties, meaning it's only asking for a note or the text that we're inputting and then it's asking for a priority level giving you three options, which are low, medium, and high. So I do recommend just for this example, for you to set up a database exactly with those two properties. So here I've created a new page. Within this page, I've created a test, test database, and I've added those two properties. I've added a column called note that um, just has text as input, and then a column for priority, which offers three options. So if I click here on new page, I can see here that I do get three options for priority and I can select from this. Obviously, since we're using integrations, later on, if you have more properties that you wanna include in your, short, in your shortcut, you can, but the code that I, will be, that I will be providing to you today and the example that we'll be looking at only includes these two properties. And to keep it simple, I recommend just going with this at least for right now. Um, so yeah, do make sure you create a new database and you include these two properties in that database. So once you have that, you want to make sure you open the database as a full page. So right now here, 
if I were in the test page, I want to make sure I go here to open as full page. And I'm now I'm in the database page. And then I'm going to click here on the three dots. And I'm going to go ahead and click copy link. Once I have that, I'm going to go to my text editor, paste the link, and the database ID will actually be included within this link. And it's going to be every number or letter after the slash. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this part, but before the question mark. So everything after the question mark, I can delete. And this is going to be my database ID specifically for this test database. The last thing that we need to do here in Notion, very simple, is within this database, again, I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to go down here to connections. And I want to make sure I enable the integration that we just created a few moments ago for this database. In my case, it's called test demo. So I'm going to hit and enable it. It's going to ask me to confirm. I'm going to say yes. And now it's been enabled. So those are the two things really that you need to copy to a notepad, but in total three steps that you need to do in Notion. So you need to get this integration secret get your database ID, and then enable that database um, for your connection. So now that we configured everything on the Notion side, we're ready to finish configuring this workflow by going into Apple shortcuts. And you can do this from your phone. But again, if you have access to a computer, it's better to do it from your Mac. Uh, I provided also the link to the shortcut. That way you don't have to configure this from scratch. You'll simply open that, that link up that I'll share and you'll get this Notion node slash idea shortcut. And what you want to do next is go ahead and open it up. Here you can see that I've, that I've already configured the shortcut for you. Here on the first step, we're asking for the text or the node slash idea that we want to send to Notion. Then we have the list of priority levels that we can select from. And then here within this kind of code, it's where the magic happens. So as you can see here, this is where we're sending the node um, property or the node column, the information that we want to populate in the node column in our database. And we also have here a priority level property. This is where I mentioned that, you know, if you want to send more properties or if you want to send more information this way, you can. Um, obviously, you'll need to add that into the code here um, and add a value to those to each of those properties. And it can get more complicated. But, you know, for now, I think this is a great example to begin. And this method actually does work for me. So here we only need to change three things. I've highlighted them uh, here uh, in, in uppercase letters. So we need to input our database ID. So for that, we'll go back to our text editor. We'll get our database ID that we already have. Copy it and paste it in this field. Then here where it says ask for input, Again, this is the node column. So we want the idea or our node to go in here. So this ask input will actually be replaced by right clicking, inserting a variable, and we're going to select the ask for input. What we're doing here is we're telling um, this code or we're telling the shortcut to put here in the content field the input from the text box here in the beginning. Also for priority level, what we want here is we want the um, option that the user chooses, so low, medium, or high. So I'm gonna right click, insert a variable, and I'm gonna um, select selected item. So this way I'm telling here the shortcut that what I want to send as the priority level is the selected item from this list. So once you've done these three things, you inputted your database ID here in this section, you pointed the content to ask for input or get the input from the text box here at the top and the priority level to be chosen um, from this list. Then the last thing that you want to do is go here to the get contents of URL and click on show more. Here you'll find three header tags. You'll find the notion version, authorization and content type. Here on the author authorization, you need to make sure um, you have the word bearer and then you're gonna click a space, and this is where we wanna paste our integration secret. So I'm gonna click Control V, and as you can see, I've pasted now my integration secret. 
And that's pretty much it. That's all we need to do for our shortcut. I'm gonna go ahead and run it from my desktop. Obviously you can run it from your phone as well. Just to show you, I have nothing here on my test database in Notion. So let's go ahead and click on play. I'm gonna do test node three, click on done. I'm gonna select high for the priority level, click done. And once you see this kind of crazy code down here, that means your integration worked successfully. And if I go now to Notion, I see here that a test node three with a high priority level has been added to my test database. So there you have it. I hope this video helped you guys input information into Notion a lot faster, or at the very least introduce you to Notion integrations and all the great things and workflows that you can build um, with that functionality. So thank you guys very much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments um, down below and please like the video if you found this helpful. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.